in welche Richtung? Alex. Also insgesamt dann Mehring. 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 Був бразилець. Всі режисери, всі режисери короткого метра. Був бразилець і було два німці, з якими ми приєтулюємо до сьогодні. І ми всі говорили англійською мовою, там німці хорошою англійською мовою, я поганою англійською, іранець посередньою англійською мовою. Ну всі роблять короткометраж, всі робили короткометражні фільми, шорці ці. It was, uh, I, I don't know if I uh, will answer your uh, question uh, correctly, but I'd like to share with you one funny story that happened to me once. And there was uh, like this bunch of people, uh, short movie makers, who were sitting around one table and uh, everybody speaking English. Uh, my English was awful, uh, someone else's English was brilliant, and so there were like uh, one Brazilian uh, guy, one uh, Iran, Iran uh, guy, and two uh, German uh, directors who I uh, am friends with since a long time. Yeah. And so uh, there were all these people uh, of different ages, uh, different religions, different cultural backgrounds and a uh, uh, different uh, level of English. And we sat together at one table and uh, in two minutes we came to realize that we can uh, understand each other pretty well and absolutely even perfectly. And we managed to talk about uh, things like uh, all this uh, like, uh, how much does the film cost in your country? What is the financial crisis about? Uh, and like all, all the um, everyday things. And uh, we were quite sure that we understand each other. And so this is like, this is how it, how it goes with multiculture. <laughs> experience because if he never if he is if he if, if his film was not selected yeah he would never meet any of the people we, we spent together some time in a lounge or for a cocktail but it's um i think it's too big this festival and too many places and people it's just uh meetings by chance or you just run into people you know or you remember from last year or yeah film just filmmakers meeting with filmmakers at a party oh boy also auf jeden fall merke ich dass sie total offen sind alle dass du total leicht mit den reden kannst und so bei manchen merkt man auch schon die sind ein bisschen so auf dem erfolg aus die wollen halt hier auch was erreichen i really like to compete uh, and i uh, everybody else says that i don't want to compete with their movies but i like to compete with my movie and i get really mad when i don't win <laughs> so so that's the case so I, i really hope that we are getting a prize <laughs> the golden beer for best short film 2010 goes to handles with yeah! <laughs> A friend of mine is a producer and he told me, listen, if they don't uh, tell you that, that you win before, I mean a day before something like this, so you don't win. And he said to me, if they don't tell you, don't bother even to come to the ceremony. And I told him, well, anyway I'm going to come to the ceremony. But uh, okay, thanks for the information. And well, they didn't, they didn't tell me, so... So I, I, I thought that I'm not going to win and I just came to the ceremony to enjoy it and then uh, they started saying like Come on, it's the silver bear! The applause needs to be longer! Thank you! Ja, immer. Es ist, es ist immer so zwiegespalten. Dann sind wir die anderen Filme, die viel besser sind, die eine viel größere Kraft haben, wo das Publikum viel mehr reagiert oder so. Oder die ich auch also wirklich viel begeisterter bin irgendwie. Und dann denkst du, ach krass, die gewinnen sowieso. Aber man hat immer so selber, ich weiß nicht, woher das kommt. Man denkt dann immer, man, also man will, will das auch gewinnen irgendwie. Ich weiß es nicht, was das in ihm ist. Für mich, in der Kompetition, 
you know, it's great. It's great that somebody wins, somebody gets like a nice boot up, but it's not really very important because how, how can you compare these films, you know? I'm, I'm glad that there is a competition in that it'll be useful to someone. And I think the most important thing of the Berlinale is the branding of Berlinale. And I, uh, it's important for me to have the logo of Berlinale on my film. So it doesn't count if it won the Golden Bear or not. Yeah, and I mean, just in comparison to many of the other festivals that we've attended or yeah. or screened at, I mean, the Berlin Alley stands out so so high above some of the other festivals that we've played at. Yeah. Just in terms of making the shorts uh, a real event, or yeah. there's there's a history and, and a and a prestige to uh, to being in the competition here. I would say yeah. Um, be very impressed with the, the curating. That normally I'm not as interested in other festivals. Like I just don't really think about it. But here you can't help but think about um, why these films are grouped together, and then notice all these sort of similarities between them. Hey, I, I can think to a festival with maybe ten different sections of short film where there is one just photo animation or uh, you know. If, um, uh, traditional short film, you know, with the story, actors, or uh, another, so, you know, so I think this is the way to go, to have different different kind of short films all together. Personally, I would, at least I will like to see a, a, a um, different section for experimental films. Animation and documentaries and, and fiction, yeah, could stay together, but, yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's just my my feeling that uh, this kind of experimental film is a bit too much to, to judging together with the others. He thinks also it's a very wide range of a selection, but at some point he thinks it's all up to the curator, Michael. You know, the people who organize the festival will decide what kind of films they want to show. Actually, when I got to the first screening, I didn't, I didn't have the clue that so many people w would like to see short films. It was amazing for me. I just asked myself, who, who are all these people? They just read about your film, and I'm like, that sounds interesting. I'll pay money to go watch that. And then not only is the cinema huge, but it's full, it's completely packed, and your film is on a majorly huge screen, which is what it was where it was meant to be. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's it's strange to, to, to sit in the public. I, I don't really like it actually because I'm always like looking around at someone coughing or yeah. like doing like this. Oh no, he doesn't like oh does he like it? It's 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 really it makes so me when afterwards. people are quiet it's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> after the when they the, yeah. <laughs> the end title when it's quiet I think it's okay. I think it's great. I mean, it's, it might sound ridiculous, but I love it when they're just totally confused or upset by it. Because you were saying, yeah, one person was like, boring. Yeah. And I kind of like those yeah, genuine reactions. Because, you know, you always sort of feel like everyone just sort of, oh, I really liked your film, and it's mm -hmm. sort of just out of politeness. So it's always great. Yeah. Because, yeah, I'm, I, I like... I like all reactions, and yeah. I, I don't expect everyone to like the film. You don't know who's seeing your film, and then, you know, it, if it was just people within the festival, there wouldn't be uh, sold-out screenings of 500 day after day after day. And that's why Berlin is so great, because you're still in the midst of a city which is going on, and things are happening, and even though you're immersed in film for most of the day, you'll still take the subway, and on the subway you'll see something which is real, you know, still, it's not like, oh, I'm closing myself off, you're still, whether you like it or not, part of the rest of the world, which I think is good. I got some invitations in uh, the welcome bag, with uh, some invitations to some parties organized by the festival. Uh, I know there will be a Romanian party. Yeah, that's the only way, way, way to survive yeah. <laughs> to being on a festival. I mean, otherwise you can't stay on the hotel room <laughs> by yourself. Uh, no, I don't think so. So yeah, we, we go to some parties. Uh, I'll go always. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what runs this business. It feels like when you are on a festival. If there were no alcohol, it's like no oil in a car. Yeah. Somebody's filming this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> 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 you.